Have you ever wondered how a shark can smell blood from miles away? It's not magic, it's science. In the vast expanse of the ocean, where visibility is often limited, creatures rely heavily on their senses to survive. Sharks in particular have evolved to possess a keen sense of smell that surpasses most other creatures in the animal kingdom. This extraordinary olfactory ability allows them to detect even the faintest traces of blood in the water, leading them unerringly to their next meal. But how does this remarkable sense of smell work? At the forefront of this sensory marvel is the shark's nose, or more accurately, its nasal cavity. Unlike humans, a shark's nostrils serve no purpose in breathing, instead they are dedicated solely to the sense of smell. This specialized organ is located on the underside of the snout and is divided into two separate passageways, each lined with a dense network of olfactory cells. These olfactory cells, known as olfactory lamellae, are the real stars of the show. They are the ones that do the heavy lifting when it comes to detecting scents. When water flows into the shark's nasal cavity, these cells pick up the chemical signals or smells present in the water. The more lamellae a shark has, the more scent particles it can detect, and the better its sense of smell. Now you might be wondering what makes these cells so special? Well, they are coated in a thin layer of mucus that traps scent particles as water passes over them. Once trapped, these particles trigger a nerve impulse that is sent to the shark's brain, where the scent is identified and interpreted. In essence, the shark's nose acts like a sophisticated chemical detector, enabling these apex predators to locate and track their prey with incredible precision. It's a fascinating example of evolutionary adaptation, where form truly meets function. So what makes a shark's nose so special? Let's dive in. To understand how sharks smell blood, we first need to understand their nose. It's not quite a nose as we humans know it, but rather a complex and specialized sensory apparatus that has evolved over millions of years. The shark's nose is comprised of two main components, the olfactory bulbs and the nasal sacs. These aren't just fancy biological terms, they're the heart and soul of a shark's incredible sense of smell. Let's dive a bit deeper. The olfactory bulbs, located in the shark's brain, are the command centers for smell. They process the information received from the nasal sacs, which are essentially the nostrils. Unlike our single central nostril, sharks have two separate nasal sacs located on the underside of their snouts. But here's where things get interesting. Unlike us, sharks don't use their noses to breathe, but solely for smelling. Each nasal sac has two openings, an inlet for water to enter, and an outlet for it to exit. As a shark swims, water flows into the nasal sacs, carrying with it all sorts of scent particles from the surrounding environment. Within these nasal sacs, we find a series of folds, almost like the pages of a book. These folds, known as lamellae, are covered in cells sensitive to odors. As water flows over these lamellae, the scent particles stick to the cells, sending signals to the olfactory bulbs in the brain. In essence, the water is read by the shark, much like we might read a book. This continual flow of water through the nasal sacs allows sharks to constantly sample their environment, detecting and deciphering scents from all around them. It's an ongoing sensory conversation between the shark and its world, one that operates every second of the shark's life. But how does this structure help sharks detect even a tiny drop of blood in a vast ocean? Time to unravel the mystery. The secret to a shark's phenomenal sense of smell lies in the science of how they process scents. Now to understand this, let's dive a little deeper. You see, when a shark swims through the water, scent particles from the environment are captured and funneled into their nasal sacs. This is essentially their version of a nose, but it's not connected to their mouth or throat like ours. It's a separate system designed specifically for smell. Within these nasal sacs, the scent particles bind to specialized sensory cells, known as olfactory receptors. Each receptor is like a lock, designed to fit a specific key, or in this case, a specific scent particle. When the right particle comes along and fits into the receptor, it triggers a response. This is where the science gets really fascinating. The binding of the scent particle to the receptor sets off a chain reaction, generating an electrical signal. This signal is then sent along neural pathways to the shark's brain. Specifically, it goes to the olfactory bulb, a part of the brain dedicated to processing smells. It's here that the signal is interpreted, allowing the shark to identify the scent. So, imagine you're a shark and you catch a whiff of something interesting, maybe it's the faint scent of a wounded fish carried on the current. Those scent particles would bind to receptors in your nasal sacs, generating signals that your brain would interpret as dinner time. 
But it's not just about finding food. Sharks also use their sense of smell for navigation, finding mates and avoiding danger. Their world is a symphony of scents and they are the maestros, expertly interpreting each note. And that, in essence, is the science of shark smell. It's a complex process, sure, but it's one that sharks have refined over hundreds of millions of years of evolution. It's a testament to their survival, and a key reason why they're such successful predators. So it's all about the signals, but how accurate can these signals be? It's one thing to smell, it's another to pinpoint the source. So, how precise is a shark's sense of smell? When we talk about the precision of a shark's sense of smell, it's like discussing the accuracy of a world-class archer, or the precision of a Swiss watch. It's simply astounding. Sharks have honed their olfactory abilities over millions of years, and they can discern not only the presence of a scent, but also its direction. Just imagine this. You are in a large, dark room, and someone lights a scented candle at the far end. You can smell the candle, but can you tell exactly where it is? Probably not, but a shark can. Sharks are capable of detecting the direction of a scent based on the time difference it takes for the scent to reach each nostril. It's a bit like our own ability to locate sounds. If a sound reaches your right ear just a fraction of a second before it reaches your left ear, your brain can determine that the sound is coming from your right. In the vast ocean, currents and tides can distort and dilute scents, but sharks are not easily fooled. Their nostrils, positioned on the underside of their snouts, act like two individual scent detectors. When a scent particle hits the right nostril before it hits the left, the shark knows the scent is coming from the right, and it adjusts its course accordingly. The time difference we're talking about here is incredibly small, but to a shark it's as clear as day and night. This time, difference allows them to follow a scent trail back to its source, whether it's a wounded fish or a potential mate. And it's not just about the direction. Sharks can also tell the distance of the source based on the concentration of the scent. The stronger the smell, the closer the source. Imagine being able to detect a single drop of blood in an Olympic-sized pool. That's the power of a shark's nose. Now you might be wondering, why blood? Why are sharks so attracted to it? It's a fair question, and the answer lies in the intricate dance of biology and survival. As apex predators of the ocean, sharks have evolved to efficiently locate and capture prey. Blood, in this context, is like a dinner bell. It signals an injured or weakened creature, an easy meal for a hungry shark. When a shark detects the scent of blood in the water, it's not just picking up on a random smell. It's receiving a signal that potential prey is nearby. This signal is particularly strong when the blood comes from a species of fish or other marine animal that the shark typically preys on. It's a bit like when you catch a whiff of your favorite food cooking. It's not just any smell, it's a smell that means something specific to you. But it's not just blood that sharks are tuned into. They are also highly sensitive to other scents, such as fish oils. These oils are released into the water by various types of marine life, and each has its own unique scent profile. A shark can detect these subtle differences and use them to determine the type of creature that's nearby, its size, and even its health status. And let's not forget, sharks are not just swimming noses. They possess a whole suite of sensory tools that work together to help them navigate their world and find food. Their keen sense of smell is just one part of this toolkit. So, while the scent of blood might be the most famous shark attractant, it's far from the only one. Each scent provides a different piece of the puzzle, helping the shark to build a complete picture of its surroundings and locate potential prey. So there you have it. The scent of blood is just one part of the complex world of shark's olfaction, Remember, it's not magic, it's science.